the unveiling of an exceptionally well-preserved pliosaur skull on Dorset's Jurassic Coast marks an extraordinary milestone in paleontological history. Found by local paleontologist Steve Etches, this two-meter-long fossil, belonging to a ferocious marine reptile that roamed the seas around 150 million years ago, is considered one of the most complete specimens of its kind ever unearthed. Its significance lies not only in its sheer size but also in the meticulous preservation that provides unprecedented insights into the ancient predator's anatomy and behaviors. The moment when the sheet covering the fossil was pulled back to reveal the enormous skull prompted awe-inspiring gasps. Steve Etches himself expressed his amazement, describing it as one of the most exceptional fossils he has ever worked on. The completeness of the skull, with the lower jaw seamlessly fused to the upper skull, sets this discovery apart from most others worldwide. Its slight distortion notwithstanding, every bone is present, offering an unparalleled opportunity for scientific study. The sheer scale of the skull, longer than the height of an average human, provides a glimpse into the colossal size of the creature it once belonged to. The highlight of this discovery is the revelation of the pliosaur's 130 teeth, particularly the front ones. These teeth, long and razor-sharp, possessed fine ridges at their backs, enhancing the creature's ability to pierce flesh swiftly for a rapid follow-up attack a testament to its role as the ultimate underwater predator. Researchers likened the pliosaur's dominance in the ocean to that of the T. Rex on land, with a length of 10 to 12 meters and four powerful flipper-like limbs propelling it at high speeds, this apex predator held a position at the top of the prehistoric food chain. Its diet likely included other marine reptiles such as plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs, and astonishingly, evidence suggests that these formidable creatures even preyed upon their own kind. The recovery of this fossilized skull itself unfolded as a remarkable saga. It all began with a serendipitous discovery when Steve's friend stumbled upon the tip of the pliosaur snout on a beach near Kimmeridge Bay. This chance finding led to an intricate process involving a drone survey to locate the rest of the fossil embedded in the towering cliffs. The delicate extraction, conducted while dangling from ropes above the eroding cliff face, demanded immense skill, dedication, and courage. Examination of the skull by experts has already provided valuable insights into the pliosaur's biomechanics and sensory adaptations. Impressively, the circular openings at the skull's rear shed light on the massive muscles that operated its jaws, generating a bite force of approximately 33,000 newtons, surpassing even that of modern saltwater crocodiles. Additionally, the discovery of small pits on the pliosaur's snout suggests a sophisticated sensory system, possibly detecting changes in water pressure caused by potential prey, Moreover, a hole on its head likely housed a parietal, or third, eye, aiding the creature in locating other animals, particularly when surfacing from deep, murky waters. The anticipation and eagerness surrounding this discovery are palpable. Steve Etches plans to exhibit the skull at his museum, the Etches Collection, next year. However, the protruding vertebrae at the back of the skull hint at the possibility of more fossil remnants lodged within the cliff, prompting an urgent need to complete the excavation before erosion claims this invaluable piece of ancient history.